Hello friends, how's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, and also welcome to Tag Tuesday, hashtag Tuesday, because it's an open collab hosted by me. And anyone's welcome to join in. If you want to make some tags and post it on a Tuesday, just go ahead and use the hashtag. Subscribe to my channel and link my channel in your description box. And if you let me know uh, that you have posted a video or comment under my, under my video here that you post a video, I will be glad to come over and watch your video and also subscribe to your channel if I'm not already subscribed. So anyway, today I'm making some tags out of these calendar pages. This is um, the scrapbook uh, calendar that I've been using I've been showing you in my last few videos. And I had pulled out these from November, these pages here. And so I want to make some tags. And they might go into these, some of them, or one of the, at least one of them, hopefully, will go into these two little journals I'm working on, these little recipe journals, I'm calling them, uh, because of the covers. They're recipe and cookbook related. And uh, so I have now bound the pages. So I've committed <laughs> to the pages now. And so now I'm going to add some ephemera. And, uh, you know, I don't know what else. I don't want to decorate them too much because I want to just put in some goodies and add a little goodie bag or envelope with goodies that someone can get these little journals and have some fun with. They're so cute. So uh, that is the, my, the size I'm working with. Just to let you know that these are going to be long, narrow tags because these are small and they're long, kind of, they're not really long, but they're, you know what I mean, they're narrow and they're, and they're, you know, long. Anyway, these little journals are approximately three and a half inches wide by uh, about seven inches. So I'm going to keep that measurement in mind. And so with that in mind, I'm going to cut down these pages in some way and look at them and see, figure out how I can make little tags out of these. Because I've had this calendar, I got it brand new as a gift in 2006 and I think it's about time I use <laughs> some of these pages up. I have used a few but uh, I still have quite a few left. So I thought for this one I would just cut out this sentiment right here because like I said long and narrow. So let's do it. Um, and then I pulled out some cardstock here from my from my scrap box. So I can use that. So let's see what this looks like and what the measurement is. If I just cut off the kind of like the, the bottom and the top of this, uh, that's pretty cute like that. I'm trying to determine whether I want to leave the ends on. I think I'm going to leave the ends on for now. It's only, that was approximately seven inches on the journal. So this is, uh, what? let me turn my ruler around. This is uh, seven inches and this way it is under three inches so it should fit so let's find a piece of cardstock that will go with that we'll get that one done that's not long enough I pulled all kinds of like this is a little uh, book cover that I'm trying to use up so I would use this side and glue something to this side if I use this but it's not big enough for this uh, let's see what else this is not big enough okay I know I pulled some out this big enough this one's big enough. Okay, so let's see what we can do with this. It's a little piece of white uh, something that I took off of something, <laughs> but it is cardstock. So let's cut this little, oh, it looks like it was a card. Maybe it was a greeting card of some kind. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and glue this down to this, and then I'll cut off my extra. So this will be my little, I always like to leave writing space on the back of my tags and things. So let's glue this down. I'm just going to see how many I can get done right now. Maybe if I could use up all of these. What do I have? About five pages there from my calendar. And from November. And I kind of like after this, I want to do some Christmas things. I've been wanting to do some Christmas things. But I've kind of been wanting to do November type things too. too you know, fall and, <laughs> and Thanksgiving. And, you know, I did Halloween already. But, you know, I kind of didn't want to give up on Thanksgiving and all that kind of stuff yet. So, it's hard to uh, do everything you want to do, right? <laughs> Before the actual holiday. So, I'm hearing noises outside. Car noises. 
don't know if you can hear them. Somebody's backing up somewhere. <laughs> I think it's across the street. I see backup lights across the street at my window here. All right, so I'm going to put it right on the edge there, and then I can just cut off this one side. That was just my art glitter glue. Oh, that's a truck across the street. I don't know if you can hear that. You probably might be able to. So let's cut this extra off and see where we go from there. There, that's pretty cute. Now I think I would like to possibly round the corners just because it looks kind of, you know, squared off. <laughs> and I think rounded corners would make it like possibly make it look a little more finished and not so much like I could just cut it out. Let's see. Put that in there. Yeah, that does look nice. Should I? I think I should. I don't have to, but I think I would like to try distressing the edges a little bit. It's just, you know, uh, it's fine the way it is and it's pretty the way it is, but I think it might be even prettier with distressed edges just because it's so white right here especially so help everything to blend in together here okay we'll go on around in case you haven't seen my channel I don't use a lot of distressing so I just use vintage photo usually and I use this little this is a little um, what you, eyeshadow brush I just use this quick and easy and these are cheap right you can get them at Dollar Tree for who knows how many in a, in a, like a dozen or so in a little package. So, yeah, I just use these. When it starts wearing out, throw it away, you start, get out another one, right? Okay, so I'm going to make sure that that, with, of what the back looks like here. Because I want that to be pretty too, even though it's just white. I want a little line around so it looks pretty, kind of finished. All right, that looks nice. And All right, so now I can leave it like that or I can add a ribbon. Uh, let's see, it's gonna go in a pocket. Sorry if I'm getting my head in there. Pocket like this or like this. I could put a little something here. I think I might do that. I have this, um, I've been experimenting with, uh, I guess this is, I'm trying to remember if this is seam binding or what, but Anyway, it's out of the package, and I've been experimenting with wrinkling. And this one, I did some others, and they are nice and wrinkly and tight, you know, wrinkles and stuff. But this one just did this. It's still wrinkled, but it's not as tight wrinkles as I was going for. So I thought I just it would be pretty on some tags. So I might just do a little bow here with this and just see what this looks like. So just let's make a little bow. Uh, and... See how we can do this. It's black. And this has kind of a black, it has a black outline around the letters. That's why I thought it would be all right to use black. And I like using black. It's a nice bold color, it stands out, right? So let's see, this is a little, I need to make a little cut here. This is fraying a little bit, so let me just see if I can cut that off. Okay, there's that side, and then this one over here, cut that off. I don't need a lot of ribbon coming down, I'm just making a little bow here <laughs> with my wrinkled ribbon. Okay, that would be cute right there, do you think? Or it could be, no, no, got to go here. Okay, let me make sure of how this looks. Make sure my try to get my my two little loops even here. Yeah, those look even. They look even. Okay, I'm gonna just put it on with a little fabric tack, and this one will be done. So I used one page <laughs> so far. So yes, you can craft along with me today or make some tags or whatever you want. But uh Hopefully the, this will give you some ideas, especially if you have one of these calendars, right? I know I've seen other people haul them, so 
There we go. A little decoration there. Okay, let's let that dry. Hold on. There's a little bit of glue right there that I don't want showing. Okay, I think I got it. Okay. Now, let's see what else we have to work with. And in between, i got to put my lids on my glue, my pin in my art glitter glue, all that kind of stuff. I've got a little heater going here. I don't know. You can probably hear a little air sound in the background. It's just a little nippy in here. <laughs> I've got my whole house heater on, but uh, it was a little nippy in here. So I uh, had turned the heater down, like, because it got pretty warm this afternoon. It got up to 60 Maybe even more. I don't really think it got up to more, though. But the other day, it was like two days ago, it was 65 on, uh, what was that, Wednesday? The day before Thanksgiving. And when I am videoing this, it's uh, the day after Thanksgiving on Friday. So it was got up to 60 today. So, yeah, I was picturing using this blank piece for uh, one of my tags. I might cut those off. We'll see what we end up using, using it for. So I have this piece here again let me see how wide this is this whole decoration here yeah it's it's three inches wide so it could fit on a tag I would just cut it down to fit right so let's do it I want to use these up I'm not trying to not use them and I'm not trying to preserve the whole page and use every inch of it I just you know I have held on to these because probably for that reason I'm trying to use the whole page but maybe I should just use what I can and cut off the rest right just to you know go ahead and use it I'm going to do this one a little different than the last one so uh, let's see I think I think I'm going to cut off this bottom decoration here and then <laughs> go ahead and put this on here like that and cut that off let's glue this down I'm kind of playing this by ear here whoops I'm going to take my pin out again right but oh I was going to say because I have that heater on it might make my art glitter glue here dry you know that's how the top of it kind of dries and if you have a little bit of glue in there then it's hard to get glue out so I thought I better stick my pin in there so that it doesn't my little heater doesn't dry out my art glitter glue so quickly but it feels good I'm not cold so <laughs> of course I have a sweater on too that helps got a nice thick sweater on that I got this sweater I know you can't see the whole thing but I got this sweater uh, at Salvation Army. It's not really worn at all. Like, I pick out things when I buy clothes at the thrift store. I pick out things that look new. So, this sweater looked newish. It didn't have tag or anything on it, but it just looked new as far as it wasn't worn. You know, not that it was the newest style or anything. It does look like the style of sweaters that are in the stores this year, like wherever. You might go but um, let's cut little angles on this one but anyway my point and what I'm getting at is they were having uh, this particular day the color of the tag was the color that was on sale for 99 cents so I got myself this nice sweater I can wear it to work it's a nice kind of dressy ish not dressy -ish, but it's not like super casual or baggy or anything it's a nice as a nice kind of sweatery design on the front. It's all one this one color, but it has a nice, you know, that sweatery design on the front. And it's uh I think I'm gonna leave I like that right there. Uh and so anyway I got it for a dollar because that day was this this sweater had that tag on it, whatever the color was, and I ended up getting it for 99 cents. So I was like pretty happy about that because I was looking for sweaters. I found this one and then I found another one that day which was a beige-ish color. It has little, like, brown flecks in it. Also, a sweater, solid like that, but with a design, like a sweater design on the front. And uh, really nice that I can wear to work. And uh, that one was, I think I paid, 
trying to think. I think that one was $3.99, but since I got such a good deal on that, at $3.99 is good to deal for a sweater too, because even at Walmart, what I think the sweaters that I saw there were were they $15.99 or $16 or $17.99 or something like that? And I saw, I mean, I don't, I didn't see too many sweaters that I liked that I would actually buy at Walmart this year, but there was one that had a sweater redesign on the front that if I didn't have any other source, I might have tried that one on. But I saw it, I liked it, but I didn't want to pay whatever it was, $15, $16, $17.99. So I ended up finding that one for whatever, $3.99, and this one for a dollar. So, so uh, what, 4 or $5 for two nice sweaters that I can wear to work this winter. <laughs> and they look, both look new and not worn and stuff like that. That one is super cute. I like that. How pretty is that? Uh, it doesn't really even, you don't always have to put a ribbon on top. Let's see if I have any right here that I don't. Oh, this has a lot of black in it too, doesn't it? I guess we'll do it. Let's do it. Let's put a little black, one of my partially wrinkled um, <laughs> ribbon here in the top and see what it looks like. It's kind of a, it is black, but it's kind of almost a, a light black. So it's not as dark as this black, but I, that'll be all right. So let's go for that. Okay. I'm getting this tangled up with my scissors. All right, let's see. I don't want too long, but I want long enough. I like to sometimes make these long enough in case somebody wants to use the tags that I include with my journals. If they want to use them for something else, like actually a gift tag or something, you know, I have enough little ribbon to do something with. So on the back of this one, I left those little holes. I'll show you in a second. All right, that looks really cute. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> so funny how you don't ever know how things are going to turn out, right? It's simple, I know, but I used another page. Let me see. Yeah, those are both cut at angles. And then, oh, I pulled that a little tight, but it'll be all right. And then here's the little holes I just left them, um, and I've got a little bit of distressing all the way around here on. Let me put a little bit more right there. Let's see, where is my distress ink? I don't even have to add any to it. This right here is a little, the paper sticking up a little bit above, but I didn't want to cut that off. I wanted to leave that. And I pulled this a little tight, but that's okay. It'll be all right. And so I think that's cute. Okay, two down. Now let's see what else we have here. Oh, we've got this scarecrow. And these right here, which all have little squares. So let's do this one. These, I think I'm going to cut out the individual squares and use as a decoration on some pockets or something. Uh, unless I try making tags out of like two of them together. You know, little tiny, like not tiny, but smaller tags. We might try that too. Cut out some individually and make some tiny tags. So this guy is super cute. Let's go ahead and cut him out little scarecrow with two uh, crows on his shoulders and the pumpkins underneath. Doesn't get any cuter than that. And I like that one we just did with leaving the color on the top. So let's do that again. We'll cut this off the bottom. I'm going to cut the white, all of the white off the bottom too. So right up to the grass or whatever is under the pumpkins. And then we find a piece that that will fit onto. That'll fit onto the green here. Yes. Or I have a piece of. Oh, this is a piece of cardstock that I brought home from work actually. <laughs> so I kind of like. Oh, this green will go with his shirt too. Okay, let's use the green. All right, let's glue it down. Let's do not delay here, so we can get this one done. Does he have black around? Oh, he has the black crows, so we can still use my black ribbon. I have a uh, red, white, navy blue, and gray out too. Some wrinkled, uh, wrinkled, crinkled, wrinkled and crinkled um, seam binding. So let me see if that's enough up here. Okay. Alrighty. Just right up in the corner there. 
Oh, let me get it over to the side here. Hold on. I don't want to have to cut off this side if I don't have to. I might have to trim around a little bit, though. See, it's green shirt and the green cardstock. Okay, so let's cut that off. Very cute. And then I've got a little bit of green here at the top that I need to cut off. We're coming out over the top of the color part there. Okay. And then I think it's all good. Let's cut our angles. So using up calendar pages today. So excited. <laughs> This piece isn't plain on the back, but you can write here and here or all across here. I think that's pretty too. I think I meant to cut glue it on the other side, didn't I? I did. Oh well. <laughs> I made a boo-boo. Okay, but it's no big deal. It's still pretty on the other side, right? Okay, no biggie. We're going to go with the flow here. Okay, let's also, I think I need a little bit more ink on here. I did mean to leave the green. Oopsies. Maybe I guess it was meant to be like this. It was meant to be. It's got the colors. It's kind of a rust orange. We've got yellow, blue, white over here. So just a pretty pretty tag. Colorful on both sides. And it still has writing room on it, so I'm happy. Uh, let's see now. I left a little bit of green down here, and that looks good. I could cut that off or I could leave it. I think I'm going to leave it. It looks like it belongs there. All right, it worked out. Okay. Always a way to fix things, right? <laughs> or we didn't really we fix we didn't fix it. We just made a made a mistake or I did and uh, it turned out to be pretty. So again, I'm going to make a little pull because I like that one we just made with the pull up here. That is super cute. And then some more of my crinkly ribbon. Okay. I'm going to try to make this piece. Well, now that, that other piece was perfect, actually. Not too long, not too short. I'm going to try to do that again. Just tie a little piece of ribbon up here. I try to put my points together so they're easy to get through. Oh, let's do it like this on this time. I think I did it the other way last time. I do like to put my loop, if I remember, I like to put my loop through first. And if I think about it, sometimes I don't think about it. But if I think about it, I like to put my loop through first and then I have this little piece in the front like that. And I'm not going to pull this one as tight because I tried, started ripping my hole on the other one. Okay, cute. And those, I can cut these with my, I mean, it doesn't bother me that they're fraying a little. I actually like fraying, so, but if it bothers anyone, like if you were to get a tag like that in your journal and it bothered you, you could use pinking shears there uh, on the edges if you have some pinking shears. But that's another cute one. Okay, let's see if, real quick, before my time runs out, Let's see if we can make a couple of, and then I'll save these two squares for decorating, but a couple of little tags with these squares to see how those turns out. Tur turn out. See how those turn out. So there's two squares, and here's another two squares. And so I need to cut that straight in the middle. There's the extra that will cut out. Well, yeah, I think I'm going to cut out, uh, I'm going to do it like this. Let's see, let's cut off that date up there. And leave the, there's some little fall leaves like looking up here, decoration. And on the bottom, so let's leave that on the top and the bottom of this one. And we'll cut this one the same way as that. Except, uh, I'm trying, I'm going to try to get the color on the sides the same size. <laughs> I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second if that doesn't make sense. Okay, there we go. See this right here? I'm trying to get that the same size. So this is a little thinner. This is a little wider, so I'm going to cut a little bit off over here. 
and then glue them down onto some cardstock. So let's see, that's pretty thin, so a little bit like like that. You may not be able to see all of my. Oh yeah, I guess can you? I guess you can see most of my cutting board there. Okay, so that and that is what we have. So again, I have the green. Let's see how the, this would fit on here. Almost perfect. I guess I'd have to put it this way. That way I'd have to cut off some of the leaves and I don't want to. So in the interest of using up some of this scrap cardstock that was in my scrap box, let's do it and not hesitate and waste time hesitating or thinking about it. Just going to go for it. So we had a nice Thanksgiving. I hope you all did. We played a new game that was super fun. If you guys are looking for a new game, I'm trying to think of what it was called. It's super fun, and, and we played it around. You could sit around the living room and play it, or, you, or your family room, or you could sit. We sat around the dining room table and played it, actually, because there's a couple of pieces of like a board, a board that you put out. But anyway, I'll tell you, it's called um, Poetry of Neanderthals. It's on Amazon. You can get it. Actually, I went and looked. My son brought it. It's a new game. My son, my oldest son, brought it over. We played it. It was super fun. Everybody had a super good time playing it. And uh, then I thought it was so fun that I'd like to have my own. <laughs> so I went on Amazon on Black Friday, which is today when I'm videoing this. And it was on uh, Black Friday special. So I got one for us. I mean, it was like, it said it was half price. So I got one for us. And I got one, it's like a little card game with some, some boards you put out in the middle and stuff. But um, got one for us. I got one for someone for a Christmas present. <laughs> and I, did I get a third one? Oh yeah, I got two Christmas presents. I got two of them for Christmas presents. And one for us. That's how much I loved it. Everybody just thought it was the most fun thing. So if you've heard of it, you know. If you haven't heard of it, it's you know, very hard to explain. You just have to, you, if you like card games and you like, let's see, if you like, it's not a card game though, I'll say if you like words, if you like words, you might, you might like it, if you like words, if you don't like words, then you might not like it, but we all, it's not like we're like word lovers or anything, but we just really liked it, so I don't know what to tell you, <laughs> we liked it, it's highly recommended, anyway, let's uh, get some this is a kind of beigey colored, so I'm going to get some little bit of, these are cute, aren't they? <laughs> I'm going to show you all of them that we made in just a second. My time is almost out, so I'm going to go quick on these. Uh, these don't really have any black in them. I have some gray over there. This is more of a gray color. I might grab my gray seam binding real quick, and I'll show you how wrinkled the other ones are compared to the one I'm using right now. Okay, let me, uh, yeah, let me look, poke a little hole. I think I'm going to leave them straight like this. They're so cute, just like this. And poke a little hole up here in the center. I think these are adorable. I love these. I think I might make them all like this instead of cutting out the squares. I didn't know they'd be so adorable, but they are. Okay, let me grab my gray. Let's see, any other colors? I have brown over there too, but here's my gray. See how crinkly that is? compared to the black one I just showed you. Okay, let me cut a piece. Now this is crinkly, so it's gonna be like I needed twice as much. Okay, let me cut it here. I'm gonna try it. I've never used crinkly ribbon like this before, so I don't even know how much it takes. But it's super cute. So I'm gonna get it in the middle, grab it in the middle and put it through my, <laughs> it's a little hard to get a hold of, isn't it? Okay, and then put it through here loop first and then wrap it around run this through there whatever but yeah poetry of ne neanderthals and my uh, daughter-in-law had a little video where we watched how to play it on youtube on a youtube video video when we sat down to play it she put a little video up on on the tv and we all watched how to play it, and it's real easy to learn, and it's super fun. 
uh, and um, <laughs> that's all I can tell you. There's a little blow up bat in it that you blow up and if the person next to you, you give it to the person next to the person that's reading the clues to joke to other your team members to guess the word and if they say the wrong thing you're supposed to hit them with the bat nicely and gently <laughs> but that was super fun because everybody got a big kick out of uh, hitting each other with the bat and we actually did do that but we did it nicely so nobody got hurt <laughs> uh, yeah so yeah that was a fun game highly recommended if you need a little Christmas game to get somebody but uh, you might want to try it out first yourself. Make sure you like it. If you don't like it, you can send it back if you get it on Amazon, right? Probably. I'm sure you could. Okay, there's these two. Let me show you real quick because my time is up. Wow, we got a bunch done, didn't we? These are really cute. And so we did this one. Gathered together with thankful hearts. The Scarecrow. The This one looks like uh, Pennsylvania Dutch flower pretty colors it was from the November and these two little fall leaf ones are super adorable I'm gonna make I mean they're so simple but they're so cute right so you don't have to get all fancy and complicated to make cute tags <laughs> so anyway I hope you enjoyed I'll see you next time don't forget to su subscribe like and comment and I uh, really appreciate it and I'll see you in my next video have a great day